when we get out of this hellhole, I'm taking you on the vacation of your life. There's a beautiful resort on the Amalfi Coast. We'll go there, you can drink all the Bellinis you like. We'll sit on the terrace, look at the beautiful Mediterranean. And then at night, we'll go up to our private villa with no distractions. What's the price tag? Price is no object. Because <laughs> it's my dime. Oh. Well, we couldn't go on my dime, but I think we've already established that flea-bitten shacks on the beach are not exactly your style. Mm. What, no comeback? No snappy rejoiner? <laughs> What's going on? Are you all right? <coughs> huh? Here's an order for you. If my wife gets any worse and you don't open these doors, I'm gonna squeeze through these bars and rip you apart! Relax. Mrs. Cassidy has been notified. She's on her way. Listen to Maya, all right? She's actually agreeing with me for once, which must be painful for you on so many levels. You have no idea. <laughs> you guys don't know Helena like I do, okay? I'll bite. Why would Helena Cassadine want to kidnap Luke and Tracy? If I had the answer, it wouldn't be up for debate, would it? Lucky, she has no reason to do it. She has plenty of reasons to do it. Look, I'm not saying it's that simple, but you're assuming that Helena thinks like a normal, rational person. She's not. The woman is a psychopath, literally. Look, I know she's a psychopath, all right, but maybe she's mellowing with age, like a fine scotch. And she's <laughs> looking forward to spending time with her great-grandchildren. Well, if she is, she's planning to use them in some way to cause mayhem. No offense, but honestly, your imagination is running amok. Is it? It's from Dad. And what's it say? He and Tracy decided to escape the madness and go casino hopping on a Caribbean island. They want to be left alone. Mm -hmm. There's your answer. Mystery solved. Yeah. I'm still not buying this. You know, when you look this hard for such a sinister plot, that means something's not right closer to home. Jobs kid his friend is developing could be successful. Well, I mean, it would definitely be a game changer for the industry, and this drug, you know, could help millions of people. Oh, wow, kind of nice. I think you could do well financially if you help other people. I spoke with my buddy. Mm. The window for investing is narrow. They don't want to break any of the SEC insider trading rules, mm -hmm. and the investments have to be large. How large? Hundred thousand dollar minimum. I know. I, I'm going to have to raid my retirement fund. I am not crazy about risking my nest egg, but the chances for profit are so huge. Mm. Even bigger if my friend's company gets swallowed up by one of these big pharmaceutical companies. Well, I would love to invest, but I do not have that kind of money. How many times do I got to tell you that I'm, I'm sorry that I lost my temper? I tried to warn Dr. Spalding that making his possession was a bad idea. Okay, I love you, I'm trying to help you, but I don't understand why you still believe the worst of me. I don't blame you for what happened with Kiefer. It was my choice to stay with him, and I i should have walked away the first time, but I'm just going to have to learn from this. Okay, but you still believe Johnny, right? That I abused his sister. No matter how bad you say she was, she didn't deserve the way you treated her. Okay. We're going around in circles now. And you know what? It's not helping anything here. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Okay? Christina, any chance I could see you?